In this video, I want to demonstrate how to take our mask to this stage by adding two extruded and two boundary surfaces and then trimming. So first I'll control tab back to my other part and I'm going to rotate around and I want to look at it in this view. And I want to make a boundary surface first. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to use my selection manager and I'm going to select this edge is my first pro profile and I'll right click to accept that. Again, I'll right click and activate the selection manager and I'll grab this edge, right click to accept that. And then for direction two, I'm going to select this arc, right click, followed by this arc and right click. And lastly, this arc and I'll right click. So everything looks good. I'll accept that and I've created the first boundary surface. So I'm going to rotate around and I'm going to do the same thing on this side of the part. So I'm going to tell I want to make a boundary surface. I'll right click and activate the selection manager. I'll select this edge, say OK. Select this edge. Again, I'll have to activate the selection manager. Select this edge, right click to say OK. And then for direction two, I would like this, right click this arc, right click, and this arc, and I'll right click. The preview looks good, and I'm going to say OK. And I'm going to go back and look at the isometric view. Next. So now I want to make an extruded surface from this sketch. So I'm going to pre-select it. I'll say extruded surface. And from, I'm going to switch. I want to make it from this surface. And I'll do a mid-plane extrusion, and I'll make the size 410. I'll say OK. And I'm going to do that again over here with this sketch entity. So I pre-select it. I'm going to make the extruded surface. From will be this surface. The distance will be a mid-plane. 4 tenths the distance. I'll say OK. And we just want to make sure the extruded surface goes completely through that. So next, I'm going to tell I want to trim. I'm doing the mutual trim type and I'm going to window select all my surfaces. And this time I'm going to tell it what parts I'd like to remove and click here. I'm going to tell it to remove this section, this section, this face, and this face. And I'll say OK. And then I have done this much of my COVID mask. And in the next video, we'll continue from there.